so like we should get a good, well, let's make a place to do a long rest. You're a rogue and a barbarian. I'm pretty sure desecration is in your blood. <laughs> <laughs> nope. A skill from the man. I'm just not, the I'm not falling for the trap. <laughs> there will be dead people in there. There's a reason for that. This would be a good place for a long rest. Yeah, that would be yeah. Once you've deactivated all the creatures? Except for the ghost, which is all spun out. Yeah, she's all trapped spooky. inside the thing. Right? Nice, creepy world. I would not like to have She'll keep six rest rest rolling around. <laughs> yeah, there's like body parts. Just pee on it from a distance? What if it's like an electric fence? <laughs> You just wave back and forth really fast. Just see what happens. <laughs> Make a quick charge. <laughs> as as you, you well, I'm at 100% now. I berserk and then beyond. <laughs> you got a high rate of movement, I do it while running away. Alright. Uh, with that said, do you close the shrine back up? No. I walk away from it. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> So you leave it open for other people to desecrate. Yeah, I was gonna say. Desecration by proxy. I don't want to kill somebody desecrating. So I have nothing to do. They're just not falling through the trap. As you guys look around the chamber, the overall creepy, the creepiness of it cannot be understated. Peering back and forth, I ask you what you do. I go and investigate further down the room. I've seen enough of this room. Yeah, we've been through it. Oh, you peer upon the various crates. Yeah. Uh, you look at the crystal cases. You see that there's nothing within them. You're not sure where the bodies for those would go. They look like they've been tampered with recently. You can tell because they're lights. Oh, are hey! I already asked you when I was... Oh, did you? I missed that part. All right. Well, we'll so clip it out and I'll laugh about it later. Point being, those lead here, up onto this platform. Okay. Yep. And you can see that the platform actually has a little spot over here and overhangs, and the fellow jumped down from there previously. So point being is, would you like to explore up there? Um, sure, why not? Would we like to have our long rest up there <laughs> this time? <laughs> that sounds like... Quality black ops. Is there anything up there? Yep. <laughs> Why do we want a long rest? I don't know. Traversing up the well, stairs. Well, traversing up the stairs. Been in here for like two hours. Well, if you don't, there should be a long rest. Traversing up the stairs, you peer around, seeing a table at the far end. Or sorry, actually, table right here. This is where the windows were. Uh, table right there. Bench as such. Uh, I leave a gap because he came through the wall there. You see a little study area. Did anybody follow me? No. Hmm. You see a little study area, oh, and peering oh, around the chamber, oh, you see a potted plant situated here. Okay. You There's see a little a effigy right of a humanoid figure on the table next to a book. As you approach the plant, it kind of leans in towards you. It's it's a fern. No, fair enough, fair enough. And how is it alive underground? For 600 plus years. Destroy it. That's an excellent question. Anyway, so... <laughs> you see, uh... Actually, you know what? No, never mind. There's no way I can... There's no way I can hint at it. But regardless... Um... Your past perception's 15, yeah? yeah. As you're so peering down as you're peering down at the table, you can see that there's a gun handle sticking out from underneath the table with your past perception there. I bent down and investigated without touching it. Uh, there's a holstered revolver of rather large proportion. If you're not mistaken, you are peering at a dwarven revolver. As you grab I'm a hold of it. To make sure there's no trap on it. As you grab a hold of it, you suddenly just remember, wait a minute, and you take your hands slowly up there and look down. You keep peering around. You want an investigation? Yes. Your past perception doesn't lead you to anything. 25. You investigate further, looking over the uh, <laughs> you see no sign of any traps. I slide it out. You, bra- 
fake leather pulling the revolver off. It is heavy, surprisingly. The thing weighs pro- approximately 10 pounds. Um, this That's is... More than most long swords. Yeah, this is a loaded dwarven revolver. I'm kind of pointing it down the, 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 the hallway thing here. <laughs> Looking at the barrel. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, the barrel on a dwarven revolver you is approximately... You motherfucker in this entire dungeon. A sixth of a, uh, a thousand experience to anyone whose character prays at the shrine of Veronesque. Uh, That's uh, definitely uh, 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 Point being, definitely won't be praying at the temple. <laughs> yeah, revolvers of rather large repute. This one being dwarven has a, uh, not a quarter inch, but a, uh, eighth inch large barrel in diameter. So they fire just, as I've said before, massive slugs. Uh, traditionally, these things have a 4d10 damage, but I'm not going to be an, <laughs> an idiot about this. Uh, so they basically do rifle damage at 2d10. So potential 20 damage on a door. Let's see how many bullets are. All right. I assume uh, they require two hands. In, in the case of uh, an inexperienced user, yes. And uh, you also require a 14 strength to weld these things. Yeah, I got one. So that said, um, you break it open, it's a 12 shot revolver. Oh, oh shit. Just man. a big drum barrel. And, yeah, no, literally, they are retarded. I had every intention of making them ridiculous in every fashion. I think I succeeded there. Yep. So now he has another hand cannon. He much. has another gun to break. There's revolvers that shoot three bullets at a time. It's not very rogue, though. So this thing has 12 <laughs> shots, and as you're there peering <laughs> around after that. the chamber, uh, you manage to see that there is a box of slugs with another 20 rounds. And they're over 600 years old. Mm-hmm. And they'll blow up in your face. Mm-hmm. If at all. Okay. Dwarven slugs last forever. It just is. It's Dwarven forged. I'm looking That's at right. I'm inspecting them to see the quality, looking for rust spots. And uh, are they made of brass? They are made of brass. They're ornate. They've been filling so they're not Somebody signed them, or the person ordained them. They had a virgin do something to them. It was horrifying. It's got to kill the human inscribed on the side. Good thing I don't speak Dwarven. I, I pick them up. I'm like, this Mormon bullets? Okay. Mormon gun? Um, the plan is to be towards you. What was you say was a humanoid figurine? Uh, it's literally a, an effigy. It's um, like an example doll to show parts of a body. It's like if you wanted to show the anatomy of, uh, of a humanoid, okay. you use this dolly right here. Show me on the dolly where you killed the person. Show me, show me on the dolly where the priest touched you. Sure. <laughs> I leave the doll actually. Okay. <laughs> no, take it with you. I do bring, it. I do bring it with the children. Give it to yeah, one we're gonna leave that alone. Give it to one of your orphans. One of the orphans. Here you go. The Cloud Spire Slasher came from the orphanage? You don't say. <laughs> Is there anything else on the table? Um, just... So there was the book, like I said. Uh, there was yep. There was the book next to the effigy and the and the plant. Um, I will note that you the fifteen passive. You can see flecks of air light all around the table. Um, there's a there's an inkwell and a and, and a couple quills strewn about too. I knocked the inkwell over. <laughs> Chaos. I am at a. You're just like fuck it. <laughs> So I will return to the group then. Sweet. Come back down the stairs. They're still probably worshiping at the I, I temple. Think, try and put that cylinder gear box thing. Me and my dudes are leaving. All the viewers are willing to throw down another 5k for people. Uh, it should be noted that this shit takes a hit. I can't remember if it's still documented, but uh, XP donated as direct uh, XP to players takes a hit. What, what are they wanting us to do? What are they wanting to do? They want somebody to pray while well, Johnny wants somebody to pray. Is, isn't he an evil god? Nobody here is going to pray. He is a chaotic god, yeah. 
Nobody's gonna pray to it. Does chaotic mean evil though? No. Yeah, like what, what is what is oh, what, shit. what God is he? Who's uh, like I don't even know what God he is. I ask. Who's the priesthood? I'm yeah. you know, wasting what, experience. You know what God this is? Can I roll religion For a sucker who prays at Bronis Day's <laughs> altar? Fucking hell. <laughs> Yeah, thoroughly. Someone's gonna jump on that shit, right? You know what? <laughs> kudos, kudos, rubbing the balls. Something. Can I roll religion to see if I know of this god? In, in yeah, by all means. Please do. And understand it. Or in, in second edition, if the god is a major deity, you don't have to roll your religion if you have religion. Twenty-two. With the twenty-two. You know that the god Ronuske is a chaotic god indeed that has been uh, a thorn in many a god's side over the course of the great history of all that there is. Is he like a trickster, like Loki? Very much so, in fact. Then I'm actually kind of interested in him. <laughs> Not only is he chaotic, but he also has been known to provide what is called the pimp slap in terms of heavy-duty injections unto the world, such that the gods have banned him in some ways for some spells, have turned him away such that he could not affect the world. But then Anymore. he oh, redeemed nice. himself, and he served the people, and he served his purposes and etc., such that he was accepted once again, and is now part of the pantheon. Such that he wanted, and such that he is. So he, so got, he ascended. He got cast out from heaven and brought back up. Oh yeah. It sounds like my kind of god, actually. It sounds He's like been god. around. He's been around. Yeah. You know, if viewers. he didn't make me, like, if I didn't choose because I wanted to be part of the story. Unfortunately, would... he is known for being per, uh, perversive and perverted. And as a result, is uh, is typically regarded as a very chaotic and, if not evil, then a couple shades pretty close, you know. Well, I mean, we Jessica thinks this is a god. Oh yeah, no yeah. problem. Lonwe thinks. Oh gosh, bad choo choo. No, not really. She's oh. oh, she's she's into the bad girl. Oh, this yeah. will be interesting. Let she's be a bad girl. This. <laughs> no, well, she's like definitely an Ogmite, but at the same time, as an Ogmite and knowledge, she's like, yeah, this is my main god, but I still think other gods are cool. Sort of thing. Pray at this shrine. It will be a learning experience. I'm not praying at the shrine. It's more like I'm accepting of other gods, but I'm not stupid enough to pray at it for pray to one that's not Let me it's your mind. Well, Fletcher, would you like to abandon a third god? <laughs> 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 the littlest hobo theme plays as he sits down. Wasn't the littlest hobo a dog? Yes. <coughs> I've never seen that show. Can I do a really? history I'll check you. on Gearbox? Okay, so like, okay, clearly, so what's the point? check on the wind-up prank and the gearbox. Uh, okay. Are we, like, up here to, like, try and find a way out of this, this, this hole in the ground? Three. Nope. Awesome. Ten. That's amazing. You have no idea where this shit would come from. Uh, but the cylinder, you realize, is a prayer wheel. Right. It's, it's got some sort of doctrine on it. You're not sure of the sigils. Uh, I bring it over to a long way see if you can decipher it. Or Religion, or, check it. Natural one. Cool. On, I'm sorry, a religion check? Yeah. Um, so you, you, you believe something that's completely wrong. Well. About the religion, like you just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm totally convinced of it. Yeah, you're convinced it's fact. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 on Facebook, and then it just uh. takes me to my own profile. It does not like fucking. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. They're so trying to roll up the new beta site. It's looking into the yeah. looking at the prayer wheel, as you read across the uh, the glyphs. Okay, you're trying to understand the prayer wheel, right? I just don't want to fuck this up. I'm trying to understand the prayer wheel. I got in that one. Right, exactly. Perfect. Do you remember? You remember? Um, Can you give us fifteen thousand experience. That's, that's like almost a level. You remember Evil Dead? You remember when they read the book? Yeah. What happens oh. when they read the book? 
They set free the hordes of darkness. Right. 